Hello? Hello? I'm master actor Eric Fulfard. <laughs> I've been asked to come here tonight to deliver monologues using some of my famous character techniques. If you'd like to sign up for my unauthorized class, I teach it here at 2 a.m. every Sunday. <laughs> Just stay. <clears throat> These are three monologues on what it means to feel alive. Monologue one. <laughs> what does it mean to be alive? Well, uh, walking outside and seeing a feathery cloud. Feeling the wind tickle the hairs on your arms as if someone was dragging a feather across it. A feather boa. A down pillow stuffed with feathers. Chasing a chicken, making it run really fast so the feathers fall off one by one into your hands. I've dug a hole 20 feet by 20 feet in my backyard. And when I fill it with feathers, I shall jump in. And if I die, I die. <laughs> Thank you. Monologue number two. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jim Pervert. What makes me feel alive? Human piss and shit. <laughs> now for my final monologue. <laughs> I haven't felt alive in quite some time, to be frank. I live behind a Wendy's, and sometimes they let me eat the leftover loaded baked potatoes. In 1987, I found a cape on the side of the road. I put it on and walked to the local town square where our local town obelisk stood. I climbed atop the obelisk and dove down as if to fly, but my cape caught on the obelisk and I slid down, breaking both my arms, and many people saw it and now they call it Idiot's Obelisk. <laughs> Months later, after I recovered from my two broken arms, I drove my brand new used Mazda straight dead center to try and knock the obelisk down. But it defeated me. It crushed me. And many people saw it. And that night, on the David Letterman program, I was number one idiot on top ten idiot list. And that night, as I went to bed, my father looked at me for the first time in 22 years. Saw you on the TV, he said. And I cried myself to sleep. But these were happy tears. <laughs> That's master thespian, Eric Fulfard.